everyone, I'm TN Eagle. Welcome back. This is episode 13 of season two, A Road to Glory with FC Schalke. And here we are, guys. It's been a pretty long season. It's been a struggle at times. We still have quite a few games left, but this game will put us into a tie for first on the league table if we can win. And Joy Draxler hits the post. We could have gone up early in the game, 1-0. But, kind of a poor clearance there from Stuttgart. We'll send it back out. We get it with Draxler. He's on the outside. He's going to send it over to Ben Arfa, who will swing it in. And there is Pino Malapa to give us a 1-0 lead in the 14th minute. So, Stuttgart right now, obviously, is the team that is in first in the table. I believe it's Stuttgart and then Bayern and then us. Uh, and they are three points ahead of us. So, we need to win this game. And that would be a huge victory. And then here, right before halftime, they score. So we go, you know, on the emotional roller coaster. We're up 1 0. And then right at halftime, they will tie it up. But I mean, it was just seconds, seconds away from halftime. But we could not escape in that first half without conceding. So going into the second half, we'll just have to see what we can do. And look at this pass from Julian Draxler all the way up to Pini Malapa, and he will knock it in to the top right-hand corner. What a pass. I mean, Draxler takes it upon himself. He gets the steal. He sends it all the way up the pitch, and Malapa with an excellent finish. And, guys, we would hold on to win that game 2-1, to one, a crucial victory for FC Schalke. And, I mean, three points at that stage is vital, vital. So, we'll have to see. Not quite sure how many games are left. There's not a ton. Not a ton of games left. Maybe nine, ten, something like that. So, we're in an excellent position right now. And we just have to go forward and kind of maintain our momentum and see what we can do. Now, if you remember from the last episode, it is a transfer window. The transfer window is open. And we're still kind of looking around. We did bring in Hatim Ben Arfa. And you can see here, Javier Hernandez, uh, Napoli had accepted our offer for him. And Javier Hernandez is just, he, he will not accept an offer. He just, he doesn't want to leave Napoli. This is, I don't know, like the fourth offer I've sent to him. And I'm just following him like, okay, buddy, like, here, you know, one more offer that I'll send him and, and see what he'll do, but uh, I, I don't anticipate him I, I anticipate him accepting that offer either. So uh, we'll just kind of keep looking. Um, you know, I, I you know, humming some we are going to keep, uh, but I'm probably going to move uh, Malapa, who I've been kind of trying to move around. But uh, you can see here, our next game is going to be against Wolfsburg, and hopefully, uh, in that game, we they haven't really given us too much trouble here. In, in the last season or this season. So hopefully we can get out of that game with three points as well because at this point now it's just a uh, it's a race to the finish uh, with the top three spots. But so we brought in Ben Arpa, who's a five-star skiller I love playing with. And then I'm like, okay, well, I'll go look for another one. So, of course, we go into the, uh, the silver beast from uh, FIFA Ultimate Team. And uh, we're going to go look at, at Jobson. I'd say his whole name, but it may take too long. But we're going to go look at Jobson uh, from Botafogo and see what they would require to get a trade. And uh, hopefully it's not very much. I mean, it's, he's 26. He's, I mean, he's quite honestly not that great. Um, but, you know, he's a ton of fun to play with in Ultimate Team. And I'm hoping he would be uh, a lot of fun to play with here in the last few games of FIFA 14. And uh, speaking of which, I mean, we are getting amped up. FIFA 15 is not far behind. Uh, from where we are not far ahead, excuse me, uh, from where we are today as you're watching this video. So hopefully things will uh, improve and hopefully things will uh, get fixed. Maybe that we're wrong with FIFA 14. Uh, you know, I know we all say that every year. We all have our wish lists of things that, that we want fixed and things to improve. Um, it did look like there were several changes to career mode from the things I've seen and, and read, um, you know, from some of the guys that got to try the game at Gamescom. So uh, that could be something exciting and something for us to look forward to 
uh, as we move forward because you know I really would like to do start off right away in a career uh, depending on which team we take uh, and I you know maybe do four or five seasons and then maybe move on to another team you guys have to let me know what you think you know how many seasons should we do uh, starting off should we do you know three four or five I would say probably no more than five but I don't know it just depends on kind of what you guys think but uh, so here Botafogo they uh, they wanted eight million for Jobson and I, I don't know. I was just like, okay, well, I can just give you $8 million. But then I was like, well, here, just you can have Malapa. You know, Malapa, his value is probably $10 million, whereas Jobson's is, is only $8 million. But, I mean, again, at this point, it's probably going to be the last move that we make in this transfer window and or uh, in FIFA 14. So not too concerned with, uh, with losing a little bit of money on that deal. And hopefully it'll work out for us and help us down the stretch. I don't know. It may backfire. It may be the worst deal ever made in the history of football. We'll have to see. Uh, and speaking of football, guys, Madden has been released. And I'm also doing a career mode on that as well. And you'll see that in the trailer after this video. You can click on the first video there. But we'll end this episode here. And we will pick it up next time against well, Wolfsburg. 215, good, but we'll go 240 just because we need to be a little bit bigger for a middle linebacker in the NFL. Now, we'll, we'll kind of move through some of this stuff um, kind of quickly. And what I'm hoping to do, depending on how it goes, I guess, with the career and uh, how the progression goes, and I'm not even sure yet, we'll just have to kind of see what the, uh, what the menus are like, what options we have.